Hello everyone to Coffee Talks. Number one, I was born and raised up in Switzerland. My parents are Tamil Sri Lankans and uh, they immigrated to Switzerland in before I was born. <laughs> so yes, I am trilingual. I speak three languages. My first language is French. Uh, oui, je parle français. And my second language is Tamil. The third language that I speak is English. Number three, I was supposed to become a doctor <laughs> and I ended up in full-time ministry. So number four is I'm a songwriter and I'm also serving God full-time. So. I'm helping out with the church. Number five, I love photography. I just really love taking pictures and editing them. I don't really know how to use a proper camera, but iPhone photography. I'm gonna drink some coffee. So number six, I'm very picky with colors when it comes to video photography. So number seven, I am a tech girl. I really love audio engineering video number eight this is something everyone knows i am a big foodie jesus family and food i love to try new things at, as long as it's tasty so also indian food of course cheat food is always burgers and fries and coke so number nine I love painting, drawing. When I was younger, I was a very shy person actually. I didn't speak to anyone. I didn't have much friends when I was in kindergarten. So all I had was a piece of paper and some painting. So I would just paint all day long. Number 10 is that I am very straightforward. It has brought me into a lot of trouble. <laughs> That's good coffee. Number 11, <laughs> I have very long, fingers can you see them i think i have my dad's fingers <laughs> they look like vegetables <laughs> you can cut them <laughs> it's very um helpful for playing guitar and piano you're just like ta, 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 and slapping your little brother <laughs> just kidding he's filming this video <laughs> so number 12 i am a coffee and tea addict i think it's obvious i need it i can't survive without it Number 13, I have lived in Australia, in Chennai, in Canada. In 2014, I went to Australia to study at a Bible college for two years. And I remember it was just such a journey because I was such a shy person. English was not my first language. Going into a new country, not knowing yourself, it was very hard for me, but it was one of the most self-developing experience for me. Lived in Canada for two years as well, like one year apart and one year apart. And after that, I went to Chennai for six months. I was doing an internship. So number 14, I am an extroverted introvert. I think the right term might be ambivert. Basically, I am a person who likes to hang out with people. Like if I don't see people, I am very depressed. But also if there is too much of people or if someone is with me constantly, like I get annoyed very easily. So I need a balance. You know what I mean? I need my alone time and my music and, and, you know, my God time and everything. So number 15, I enjoy walking in the night. Number 16, I have a small circle of friends. It takes a lot of time for me to open up. And I think it's a good thing. It's like a protection, you know, because these days you don't know who is fake, who is not. Yeah. So number 17, what's the craziest thing I've ever done? So I was like 10 years. My dad showed me how to put on fire a paper and he stopped the fire. So the next day in the morning I woke up. The first thing I did was try what my dad tried. So I went to the sink. I took some fire and there was like the hand towels on the, on the wall. I lit it on fire. I 
tried to stop it, it didn't stop. The whole wall was burning. And then I was like, oh, yo, yo. Then I went to my parents' room and I was like, mom, there is a fire in the kitchen. My mom was like, uh, she was sleeping. She started to smell the smoke and then she was like, oh my gosh, what did you do? My dad also woke up and he stopped the fire. And I ran to school. I was like so worried because you know brown parents, they just start when you do a mistake. I was like so scared and when I came to lunch, Thankfully, there was a pastor at home. I didn't get any kick for that. Number 18, my favorite sport is soccer. But number 19, my favorite shops are like modern. I really like hipster style. I like anything with flowers. I think you can notice it on me. I like street style as well. Number 20, who are my favorite artists? I really love anyone who can sing, you know, powerfully with riffs with styles. In the Christian world, I like Tasha Cobbs, she's very anointed, Sinash, Sarah Raves. I like Jeremy Riddle, I think his voice is very emotional. In the secular, I love Jojo, Tori Kelly, Justin Timberlake, Whitney Houston, I think she's awesome. Oh, Lauren Diggle, I think she has a unique voice, beautiful lyrics, and she doesn't close herself in a box, she goes out and she reaches the non-Christians, so I really love that about her. Number 21, I play keyboard and guitar. Number 22, something that I really, really, really don't like when churches have really bad music. When I was younger, you know, the music in the church I grew up was horrible. Like, you would hate it. They were not singing pitch, they were not singing rhythm. I was just like awful. The worship leader would say, when we go to heaven, we're gonna worship God 24 seven and it's gonna be like this. And I would tell myself in my head, oh my gosh, like I don't wanna go to heaven if the music is gonna be like this bad. <laughs> no, no thank you, I'll stay out. <laughs> just kidding. Number 23, my favorite city in the world is Chennai. It is very lively, fun. <laughs> there's so much people, there's so much shops, and um, there's so much culture, um, so much food. So I love Chennai. So number 24, one of my craziest dream is to bring Jesus to the media. I believe that in our day and age, Media is one of the most powerful tools. When you use it for a good cause, it's gonna be such a blessing. So many people will come to Jesus. Number 25 is that I don't like fake people. I really don't tolerate fake people. My life policy is to always be true, genuine. I value genuine people. So that's it for today. And please share three facts about yourself as well. I would love to know. Do subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, share it, and see you guys in the next video. Cheers.